What up? All right, so let's talk about Ron Barron. So we've been in Tesla since uh, 2014. Uh, we started working on it in 2012, 14 to 16. We bought stock, invested uh, $387 million. This guy is a Tesla bull and a Tesla bull legend, all right? This man has been investing in Tesla for some time, and he's made outstanding, outstanding, outstanding money returns from his investment in Tesla, I'm telling you right now. This guy has been speaking with Elon Musk for many years before he invested, and I'll tell you right now, this guy definitely will tell anyone that it's his best investment, and this man will definitely fight all day and night saying that's his best investment ever, and I'm sure there's people out there who will say things like, please, there's way more better investments out there. I would never put my money in Tesla. Yes, and that's true, but that's totally fine for you and all the other people who oppose Tesla and Elon Musk. But for those people who can put their emotions aside and just look at the investment opportunity, will win. Now, Ron Barron did sell some of his Tesla stock, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who say things like, Yeah, duh, I'd do the same thing if I was in work. Uh, but for clients, uh, I sold 27% of their stock, 25% of their stock. Differences between Ron Barron and you people is that he actually owns an investment firm and it's Ron Barron Capital. And in that firm, when you own a firm, you can't just hold on to shares even though they're going through the roof. There's rules and regulations behind it all. And if it gets to a certain amount, a certain number of, of earnings, you actually have to sell your stock for your clients. It's just the way the rules are. But I mean, that's just another thing. But if it was my own stock company, I'd be like, if you're joining my own firm, we're going to hold Tesla all the way. But the thing is that Ron Barron, he actually owns his own personal stash of Tesla and see how much he owns right now. I happen to own a million one hundred and fifteen thousand shares personally. I haven't sold a single share and I don't expect to for another 10 years. Uh, Bam! You hear that? That man has his own personal stash of a million shares of Tesla Plus. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, I wish I could have that much myself. But as you can see, the difference between him and his firm is that he has to sell shares inside of his firm. For his own personal account, he's not selling one Tesla share. He's been holding on to it for a very long time, and he plans on holding on to it for another 10 years. That's pretty outrageous, and the man has a very... Look, he looks into the future instead of worrying about right now. This man has a long-term price target for holding on to Tesla for the long run, and you know what? It's very inspiring, and I'm actually uh, planning on doing something very similar. Me, personally, I'm doing pretty much the same thing as Ron Barron. I'm going to be holding my shares for as long as possible, and I'm still accumulating. I've been buying since 2020. I have 200 shares right now, currently. I put over 50,000 of my own dollars into the stock, and I plan on buying more throughout the years, throughout the next 10 years, and I plan on holding and not selling one share. There's a lot coming for Tesla in the future, a whole lot of good things, and it's not just cars. I mean, we got the robotics, we got the AI part of things, I mean, the, the drilling, I mean, the boring company. There's a lot more to Tesla than just what we see. A lot of people think it's just car companies, but there are multiple startup companies, and they have a lot of things under their belt that are coming. And if I were you, I'd probably look into buying Tesla stock myself. I'm not telling you that you should, but if you want to find something, a good stock to hold throughout the years, because the value of this company is going to be remarkable in the next few years, and it's going to continue to climb higher, especially now that they got the humanoid robot. Well, that's my time. Thank you guys for showing up again. Please tune in tomorrow for more information about where the auto market is going and technology and all those good things about Tesla that you just love. See you tomorrow.